To get started, let's open up our cottage plan and elevation example drawing here. And we'll find a drawing here it has a lot going on in it. it. Has several different elevations, a plan view, another floor plan, ceiling plan, roof, and some sections. So there's a lot going on in this file. Now, when you work in busy drawings, you may find it difficult to work in. Now, if your objects are organized by layer as they should be, then you'll find using the isolate layer command to be very useful. For example, it's right here in our layer panel on the home tab. If I select this command and I pick objects on certain layers, press enter, it'll freeze all the other layers except for the ones I've picked. Now you can pick more than one object or layer at a time and that's perfectly fine. But what that does is it isolates those objects on that layer. So you have a little bit of control over it and that helps out quite a bit. Now, what if you wanna work though with objects of different layers? Now you can do that. Pick the isolate layer command again. And I'm just gonna do a crossing window and select a whole bunch of different things. Press enter. And you can see I only made this one little window selection and didn't turn much off. I'll unisolate the layer and it came back. So sometimes it doesn't give you what you're looking for. What you can do instead is use the isolate objects command. Now this command isolates selected objects regardless of layer or property. You just pick what you wanna see and the rest is gonna be turned off. It's pretty easy to do. So let's just select some objects like this view right here. I'm gonna pick everything in it. Once you've selected all of your objects, right click and go to the isolate option. Now you have three different things here. One is to end the object isolation once you're done, but we can't do that yet because we haven't even isolated anything. But then we have isolate objects and we have hide objects. These will do the same sort of thing, just opposite. The isolate objects, which I'm gonna left click on right now, will turn off all of the objects in your drawing except for the ones you picked. So it isolates them. So if I select these items again and right click, Go to isolate, I can end object isolation, and that'll turn everything back on. Now, I can do just the opposite with the same command. I select these items, right click, go to isolate, and say hide objects. So it'll hide just what I've selected. Now you can select something again and right click, or you can come down to your little status bar down here, and there is a button that you might have to turn on. So if you click on the customize button here, and if you need to scroll up and down and find the isolate objects, make sure this box is checked. See when I check it and uncheck it, this box goes away. So this is the unisolate objects button. So you click on it and you can say end object isolation. It works the same both ways. So I can come down here and click on the button and I can say isolate objects or hide objects. So if I pick isolate objects, then I select what I wanna work on press enter and it will do that. So there's two different ways to get to the same command. Also note, if you're working in a drawing and you see this box on and you see a little highlight, that means there is some object isolation going on in your file. So keep an eye on that, look at it every once in a while, especially when you open up a brand new drawing or a drawing from someone else, because you may want to make sure that is turned on so you don't miss something. So the isolate objects is a great tool to use so you can just work very precisely with just a few things. And it's very quick turn off and turn on and you can hide certain things or you can isolate certain things, whichever way works for what you need at that moment.